How efficient is it to plaster electrodes onto yourself before every session, turn on the fucking machine, include that into your periodization, try to figure out how that interacts with other training variables like RIR and number of reps and sets and training phase. Jesus Christ, that is a huge pain in the ass, literally, if you put the electrodes on your glutes, right? <laughs> so... It's about the, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Russian currents, uh, Russian electrical stimulation. They use electrical stimulation to, to more hypertrophy results. Mm -hmm. And some gyms, some uh, gyms just say, oh, this is better because it gives you more results in less time. So pretty much it's like electrical stimulation, you do your squat and they use it for uh, what's it called? If if you if you can't use if you have an accident, for example, and you can't really use your biceps like before, mm -hmm. they electric, electrically totally. stimulate it. Got it. So uh, the, in in the context of injury recovery, especially through traumatic injury, um, electric uh, activation of musculature can help you relearn how to use those muscles. And that's if you have nerve damage. Okay, and it's a very very good use. It's very effective. Uh, the thing is, nobody in the gym has any problems using their muscles, okay? That's almost all technical feature and a mind-muscle feature, and those are things that take weeks to learn, and then most people are not limited by how much bicep activity they can get out of a set. They're limited by how many total bicep sets they can do per week and limited by how much guts they have and does, are they going to push themselves that hard. So muscle activation is not a realistic problem for anyone. Uh, most people have their problem just training enough and recovering a lot. Uh, secondly, if you're going to go, let's say that you are saying to yourself, I want better results. I want to be more efficient with my training. I want every, every rep of bicep growth, every rep of bicep curls to give me more growth than otherwise. Okay. How efficient is it to plaster electrodes onto yourself before every session, turn on the fucking machine, include that into your periodization, Try to figure out how that interacts with other training variables like RIR and number of reps and sets and training phase. Jesus Christ, that is a huge pain in the ass, literally, if you put the electrodes on your glutes, right? <laughs> so, so what ends up happening is this, this needless training complexity that probably to advanced lifters offers no benefit, some cost, in fact, because your muscles being involuntarily activated really throws your technique off. Um, and for beginners, it's almost certainly just not worth their time or their hassle. You know, like, can you imagine? Be like, all right, you're a beginner. What do I do? Just go to the gym and do the basic movements. Like, sweet. Just kidding. You have to buy this machine, staple these electrodes to your dick, and start to fucking fry you. you know, it's just it's insane. Like, nobody's going to do that uh, unless unless uh, a trainer at a gym talks them into him lies about, oh, you need this, you need this, you know, and it's going to help you, and everyone else is more advanced, and no one else has this machine. You see where I'm going with this? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so basically, it's one of these modalities that if you're an individual who's recovering from a car accident, it may be a priceless modality. But if you're a normal human being, it's either so incrementally tiny of a benefit that it's not worth a trade-off, or it's not even a benefit. So that's my view on the matter. Yeah, I, I totally agree. But people just go overboard with this. And, and I always say, no, you can't. You just can't use it like this. It's for... Yeah. You know what, Mathias, I would say, you, you can... You, you uh, Here's a potentially something you can use. You don't have to say you can't use it like this. You can say you can use it like this. And they're like, great. And, and, and then you can say, but it's almost certainly not helping you. And they're like, oh, fuck. Because remember, they're not just trying to use it to use it. They think it works. So you have to say, they, they can say, so what's the downside with this? You'd be like, but there's no downside. They'd be like, okay, so that it works. You'd be like, there's no upside. And they're like, huh. But it costs money. It costs time. And it's a huge pain in the ass to put these electrodes. Who likes to put electrodes on their body? First of all, second of all, who likes to rip them off? You, some of us have, you know, your Arabic. Horrible. You have body hair, I'm sure, right? It like is my dad's from from Turkmenistan. I'm I'm hairy head to toe. So we can't do this shit to ourselves, man. Let's let hairless people do that stuff. It is horrible. So right, and so it's it's one of those things. It's like uh, there's an interesting concept where you know the degree. It's all about trade offs, right? The degree of benefit of something has to at least come close to matching the cost and the downside. So if people are like, well, I'm going to need these electrodes. I'm going to put them on my body. The physiotherapist has to do it. Uh, I can't train without them. Those are costs. And then they think, well, there must be these benefits. And it's like, 
not really. Like right. if you're a car accident victim, but if you're not, you just get the same benefits after several weeks of learning how to use your muscles. And if you're advanced, it's a cost because it probably interferes with your mind muscle connection and all these other training variables. And then, so they go, so then why does my, my why does my trainer say to use them? It was, you know, then it's a polite talk about other, you know, people of different qualifications and trainers are trying to do their best, but they're not always right. Like no one's always right. And, and so on and so forth. I mean, the, what you really want to say is your trainer is fucking retarded, but you know, you can't uh, say that's this. Probably, yeah. It's probably the case, but you know, you can say it, right? But it's just not going to be very convincing. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to, oh, this guy's Matthias just hates people and he's jealous or something, and, and that's totally fine. So you say, well, you know, that's an interesting perspective that your trainer has, but I think you would be pretty well off if you didn't use it and it would have none of the costs. And, you know, maybe they'll listen to you and maybe they won't. But even if they won't, maybe months later after trying it and seeing no results, because you and I both know it's not going to do shit for them, they're going to like not use it. They're going to start to pick up a real program. They're going to get some really good results doing just compound basics, or maybe they'll hire you and you'll be their coach. And they'll say, man, you know, I feel like an idiot for having used those, like those electrodes. And, and you don't have to say, yeah, you say, yeah, you know, we've all done dumb shit. Like me, I remember I trained to muscular failure every single working set for like the first five years of my lifting career. I got hurt like all the time and I overtrained all the time, overreached. And uh, I feel stupid about it now, but you know, we all make mistakes. So it's one of those things like, it's stupid, but you know, you kind of just sort of give people the information, invite them into evidence base, and if they don't want to come, it's okay. It's okay. You come later when you figure out that the shit doesn't work.